Hello and welcome. My name is Joseph. I'm a developer experience engineer working with our open source developer experience team here at AWS Amplify. And today we're going to be talking about Vite and Amplify, but more specifically, how to build and host your Vite apps with Amplify. And you can do so by getting started at docs.amplify.aws, as well as joining our community Discord server with thousands of other developers using Amplify. All we'll need to get started is an AWS account. And for demo purposes, I've already created an account. I'm logged into the AWS console. And here we can see we have the Amplify hosting console pulled up. And this is where all of our Amplify apps are going to live. So let's get started by building our app. We can scaffold out the V project with PMPM create V. And we're going to choose the TypeScript React template. Afterwards, we can see Vite has created all of the necessary files for us to get up and running. However, we're going to copy just a few modifications. And let's go ahead and install our dependencies. Afterwards, we can spin up the dev server and take a look at what we've built. And there we have it, our first Vite app. However, this is just running locally. And it would be great if we had it on the internet so we could share it with all of our friends. So let's do so by creating our Amplify app. We're going to want to run Amplify in it. And this is going to be our entry point for creating new Amplify apps with the CLI. This is going to prompt us for our project name, as well as a few project configuration settings, some of which we are going to change. So we're going to point our primary environment to main. Use Visual Studio Code, JavaScript, React, source directory, build, and we're going to change these commands to use PNPM. After choosing our target AWS account, we'll see the CLI is going to start creating a few resources behind the scenes, namely the Amplify app. And this would help us extend our app later by adding other resources such as authentication, GraphQL APIs, or serverless functions. Remember, though, we chose we wanted to output our app to build. So we will have to change small v setting to output to build. And here we can see the CLI has progressed. We are going to opt in to help improve the CLI. And now that we can see the CLI has created an Amplify directory, which will hold all of our backend definitions, as well as metadata files for those backend resources. Now that this looks great, let's go ahead and commit this to Git. And we're going to commit this to Git prior to adding hosting, because as soon as we add hosting and connect it to our repository, it's going to trigger the first ever build of our site. Now that this is complete, let's go ahead and add hosting. We are going to choose the Manage Hosting solution with Amplify Console and the Git-based deployments. Now we can choose to connect our Git provider, choose our repository, our newly created environment, and the backend role necessary. We see that it's also detected that we have an amplify.yaml build spec file, which contains the specifications to build both the backend and the front end. Next, we can review these settings. And if they look good, we can go ahead and save and deploy. And now, we'll see Amplify Hosting is going to kick off the first ever build of our application. After the deployment has completed, we can now visit our Amplify app. And there we have it. Now we can share this app with all of our friends. And that concludes my talk on Vite and AWS Amplify. Thank you.